Well, hello and welcome to the Courcheval Resort Report on today, the 6th of February 2013. And as you can see, we've had a fair bit more snow here in Courchevel and it just keeps on coming. The last seven days have been a veritable roller coaster ride of weather emotion. Starting off with Friday, Saturday last week, what no one likes to see masses of rain in resort. In fact, it rained to quite a high level. Everyone was thinking, oh no, this is terrible. Really does do terrible things to the spirit, a bit of rain in resort. But luckily, the weather gods soon sorted their act out and it started snowing. And it has been snowing intermittently for the last few days, culminating in this dump we're receiving right now. Uh, we've probably had about uh, 20 centimeters and counting, making for absolutely superb skiing. So that nastiness, that rain layer is getting beautifully covered up. The pistes are becoming superb. This snow, it's coming with a northerly airflow, so it's cold and it is absolutely magnificent. Conditions in Courchevel are getting back to being at the top of their game. So as I said, the conditions are still absolutely fantastic. They've come back to being superb. Um, the sun even has managed to break through the clouds on a few occasions, giving us some glimpses of blue sky, good visibility, um, which makes for even better skiing. The off-piste, what with this cold snow coming from the north, beautiful. It's like champagne powder out there. Absolutely fantastic. Getting off-piste is brilliant, but there has been a rain layer in there. There's been some really high winds, so it's quite dangerous. There have been a few avalanche incidents in Courchevel in the last week. Thankfully, no serious injuries or fatalities, but definitely stay safe out there. Only go with experience or with a guide and make sure you're carrying the correct equipment. Now, as I said, those high winds, they've played a little bit of havoc with the lifts in the last seven days. Sometimes the uh, higher lifts in the resort, the likes of the Salia Gondola, um, the Shanrossa uh, Quad Chair, they've been a bit late opening or indeed a bit early closing. Um, that wind can prevent the lifts from, from opening or closing. So it's important, keep an eye. If you're planning on going far afield, if you're gonna head over to Maribel, if you're gonna head over to Val Turen, if it's a really windy day, be careful because those connections can shut and you can get a bit stranded. One top tip, it's way better to get stranded in Maribel than Val Turen or Lehman Weir. It's far less distance and a far cheaper taxi ride. So looking forward to the week ahead, it's gonna be cold. Those temperatures are set to plummet again. We're looking at a freezing level, which is pretty much at the beach somewhere. So up here, it's gonna be Baltic, minus 25, minus 30. We're gonna be back to what it was a couple of weeks ago. Wrap up warm, get your layers on, get away from that cold, but get skiing because the snow is gonna be beautiful. Now, if you're planning on taking a bit of an afternoon off or even after skiing, a great thing in the tourist office in Courchevel Morion is an exhibition on the local history of the region. Um, the early pioneers of skiing in Courchevel, there's some cool old pictures, there's some really good artifacts is really well worth checking out. And that stays open till seven o'clock in the evening in the tourist office. Well, looking ahead, I think it's safe to say the snow is still coming down. The conditions next week are gonna be simply superb. I'm gonna be skiing at the end of the week and I cannot wait. So wishing you all happy skiing and we'll catch you next time.